Tale of the Tape brought to you by Zion's Extreme Supplements for Extreme Results. Ask for Zion's at your local health food store like GNC or your gym. Visit Zion's.com for more information. Oh my goodness, can it be any more even? Arlovsky does have a weight advantage. The Belarusian from Minsk, Belarus. For the official introductions of this, our main event of the evening, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this UFC championship bout is sanctioned by the New Jersey State Athletic Control Board with Mr. Larry Hazard, Senior Commissioner, and Tony Orlando, Chairman. Our judges for this contest are Jeff Mullins, Abe Bellardo, and Douglas Crosby. Our doctor at Octagon side is Dr. Michael Kelly. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon is Big John McCarthy. This championship bout is brought to you by Zions. Extreme supplements for extreme athletes available at GNC stores nationwide. And now, it's time. Live from the Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City, this fight is five rounds for the interim UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, the challenger standing to my left. This fighter is a mixed martial artist who holds a professional record of nine wins with three losses and one draw. He stands six feet two inches tall and weighed in at 228 pounds. Fighting out of Davenport, Iowa, please welcome Justin Islers. And now introducing the champion standing across the octagon. This man is a kickboxer and sambo fighting expert. He holds a mixed martial arts record of nine wins with three losses. He stands six feet three inches tall and weighed in at 241 pounds. Fighting out of Minx, Belarus, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the interim UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Pitbull. Andre Arlowski! Matt Hughes, welterweight champion in attendance here tonight, as is Roy Jones Jr. Hey okay, guys, you got your instructions in the locker room. Expect a clean fight. I have any questions from the challenger? Any questions from the champion? Fight clean, fight hard, fight fair. Go back to your corners. Let's go. Here we go. They're going to be good. They had a nice big stare down in the weigh-in as well yesterday. Arlovsky. Right, big John McCarthy, our referee. Champion. You ready? You ready? Let's get it Against on. Justin Eilers. All right. Let's see if Justin Eilers can avoid the superior stand-up of Andre Arlovsky. Well, Justin said he wants to wrestle more. He will, he will display his wrestling skills. See if he looks for a takedown. Very good idea. Hey, you got that right. Move away from the bat, Justin. Then again, he has two bats. One right, one left. But Arlovsky is just, man, he's so big. So strong. It's so dangerous. He's so dangerous. and so explosive. I mean, you saw that right hand that he landed on Tim Sylvia. It just came out of nowhere like lightning. On the button, and then immediately, oh, nice leg kick. UFC 53 heavy hitters, Joe. Brought to you in part by the Gordon Beer Brewing Company. Beer like it ought to be. Justin Eilers staying in the pocket. He's not avoiding him. Eilers, Eilers will swing away. Eilers is a tough, tough dude. Former linebacker at Iowa State. And this is a tough, tough dude. This is what Eilers wants here. He wants to get in the clinch. He's looking to grab double underhooks here. He's got one underhook on the left side. He lost it. Okay. Again, Arlovsky's world now. He's rocked. Yeah, Eilers to, is rocked. Yeah, Arlovsky trying to ice Eilers here quickly. He took a heavy inside leg kick and a right hand to stop him. Excuse just me to sets end it. it. Just sets it up so nicely. Yeah, he's got beautiful stand -ups. I mean, the sambo and the background, and kickboxing. And... This is the more time this spends on his feet, the more dangerous this is for Justin Eilers. That's it. He's got to work on that. You see how explosive Arlovsky is? 
Justin drops down for the tank down, and Arlovsky immediately gets out of the way. Arlovsky pushing the action. Eiler's already bleeding. He, he's bleeding, and also he's tasted the power now. Mm -hmm. He's got a little more apprehension about shooting in. And that, I think, is as you and I've Joe, talked about work. before, Joe. That's where he could he could potentially have an advantage. Is if he can shoot in, if he can yeah. take it down. He's got he's got to take advantage. He's got to figure out some way to get the clinch. Oh, oh this is got him on the right. He got, he got rocked there. Combination Bad. continues. I mean, Arlovsky just looks unstoppable on his feet. I mean, literally, he's a world-class striker on his feet. And his, his precision strikes, they're, they're, they're so perfect. I'll tell you what, I hope Frank Mir gets healthy. That will be a heck of a matchup. Phenomenal matchup. Frank Mir, heavyweight champion. Andre still very respectful in the recognition as such. Hoping for potentially an October matchup. Time will tell as Frank continues to rehab after the motorcycle accident. Eilers has got to figure out a way to get away from the stand-up fight. He's got to either pressure him, he's got to, I mean, he's got to pull guard, he's got to do something. But standing up and banging with Andre Olofsky is just going to wind up with more of the same. Eilers has really been working a lot with Travis View, another big hitter, but... Travis View's not Andre Arlovsky. No, no one is. I mean, there's very few guys. I mean, it's, who do you train with that gets you ready for this kind of speed and power and precision striking? Caught him with a left there, a good left jab landing onto the chin. Eilers still, you know, everybody has a puncher's chance here, Joe, especially when you've got the heavy hands of Justin Eilers. So he can set one up. He may be able to catch Andre Arlovsky. Anything can happen. But that's why it's such a dangerous fight for Andre Arlovsky here. Anything can happen, but as we're seeing from these exchanges over and over again, Arlovsky's coming on top. Justin Eilers faces the master. And Andre is completely unmarked. Look at how this sport is transformed into such a striking game. I mean, could you imagine seeing Andre Arlovsky in UFC 1? Oh, low. I mean, there, there was nothing like this back then. No way, no way. This is the pinnacle of the sport. I mean, this this is uh, as good a heavyweight professional mixed martial arts athlete as you can find. I totally agree. You wonder how long oh, he could be dominant. Down he goes. Down he goes. Trying to it looked it like his knee blew out. It, is out. it looked like Justin Otto's knee blew out. He dropped, and then Orlovsky took advantage of it. Andre Orlovsky wins again. I think he might have blown out his knee. Let's take a look at the replay, because that's what it looks like to me. It looks like Eiler's knee buckled. Let's take a look at that real quick. Yes, see it? Boom, his knee gave out. Let's take another look at that. It looks like his right knee gave out. Yup, boom, oh, he blew his ACL. Yep. He went, he got a weird position and his, his leg just shifted and popped out. Let's take, there's Arlovsky reacts to it. Oh, a great job done by John McCarthy to stop the fight. Justin Eilers popping that right knee. Yeah, he's he's going to have to have surgery on that. You can yeah. see it shift yeah, you're, you're and pop out of place. ACL in there. Yeah, it's, it was gone before. Man. Let's take a look at it one more time. And coming from a guy, I've had, I've had three knee surgeries and two ACL reconstructions, and this hurts just watching it. Look at his right leg. He plants it. Boom! You see where it, it comes out? Oh, you can look at it. You can see literally the bottom part of his leg pop forward when his ACL explodes. His ACL severed. Let's take a look at it. Look at his right leg. He shifts and bang. Ooh. Ouch. It popped out and he immediately collapses. And then Andre takes advantage of it. You look at it right here in slow-mo. Look at the right knee, the inside of it. See it right there? Pop. That's where it blew out. Bad injury for Justin Eilers. That's gross, dude. That is gross. Bruce Buffer. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes 10 seconds of the very first round for the winner by TKO and still the interim UFC heavyweight champion of the world the Pitbull, Andre Arlovsky. The Pitbull reigns.
comes supreme again. Now the question is, can we get Frank Mir healthy as Andre Arlovsky truly looks dominant here in the heavyweight division? Joe Rogan. All right, I'm, I'm here with the interim champion, Andre Arlovsky. Andre, give us your thoughts on the fight. It looked like Justin's knee blew out, and, uh, and then you just capitalized on it, but you were dominating him in the stand-up. Ну, я старался атаковать его левым прямым. То, что нарабатывал своим тренером по боксу, Майкс. He helped me. I'm doing everything, что он мне сказал. Uh, Andre is saying that he's, he was trying uh, to keep him uh, keep the distance with the jab, work the left jab, and set him up, uh, set himself up with a straight right or uh, right hook. Uh, basically, everything that they were working in the gym uh, with the coach uh, Mike, uh, Mike Garcia. Now that you've defeated Eilers, it clears the plate for you for October for Frank Mir. Tell us what you think about that fight. He's uh, very anxious to have that fight. And we're very anxious to see it. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen, the UFC interim heavyweight champion, Andre Orlovsky. I want to say thank you, my jiu-jitsu trainer, Dina Castellas, my boxing coach, my Garcia, my team, Alexi, Leo, Nikolai. All my friends from Chicago, Minsk, Minsk, uh, Las Vegas, Boston, my chiropractor, Dr. James Tux, and my, contact, my sponsor, Full Contact Fighter, Joe Gold, Lou, everybody, my friends who come and watch me. Thank you. Andre, congratulations. We look forward to seeing you fight for the undisputed title. Oh, another great night of action here from the Ultimate Fighting.